Okay, 8.2 independent practice. And we're going to start with this one, number six. On a separate sheet of paper, try to draw a triangle with side lengths of three centimeters and six centimeters and included angle of 120 degrees. We're going to determine whether the given segments and angle produce a unique triangle, more than one triangle, or no triangle. Well, I have a sheet of paper here, and I already started to draw a three centimeter length line. So I'll show you here. There is three centimeters right there from here to here, three centimeters. And now I need 120 degrees. So I will get this going here, my protractor. And this is going to be my vertex, which is going to go right there. And this line is going to go right there. So I'm going to line this up so I can see through it nicely. And there, right like that. Now, I have my vertex there, and I'm going to measure, I'm going to look at uh, 0, 10, 20, 30, all the way up to 120 is going to be right here. And then I'm going to draw a line from here to here. Now, this line needs to be 6 centimeters long. So that's, I'm just going to make it light there, and I'm going to measure this. I'm going to go up to 6 here, and I will make this right like that. It's going to end right there. So that is this. And then I'm going to finish this off by putting it, my, holding my pencil here, moving it. And there is, there's a, this is, so I'm going to label this now. This is three centimeters. This is six centimeters. And this is 120 degrees. Now back to our question here. Can I uh, make an, uh, a unique is this a unique triangle more than one triangle or no triangle well i was clearly able to make a triangle so there you go so the question is could i make more than one triangle given three centimeters six centimeters 120 centimeters um no i can't this is a unique triangle and this is called a side i have an angle and a side. This is called the side angle side theorem, where if you have a side and a given angle and a given side, you can only make one triangle like that. I can't make this triangle any bigger because if I did, I mean, the 120 would still be the same, but if I made this longer, it wouldn't be three centimeters anymore. If I made this longer, it wouldn't be six centimeters anymore. Um, I can keep the angles, I can keep these. Now, I can keep this three and this six, and I can move this over here. And I could connect this here and keep that six and that three, but then this wouldn't be 120 degrees anymore. It would be somewhere like this, uh, like that. And then, and then the other side would be like this, and that wouldn't be the same triangle at all. So yeah, this is a unique triangle. So, um, so I, I did it, and I would say a a unique triangle. Okay. Oops. <laughs> okay. So here, a landscape architect submitted design for a triangle shaped flower garden with side lengths, 21 feet, 37 feet, 15 feet to a customer. Explain why the architect was not hired to create the uh, flower garden. Well, what we have is we would have this. We have we have to use that triangle sum theorem, okay? If I add the two shorter sides, I have 21 feet and 15 feet. Those are the two shorter sides. So here they are. Two shorter sides are 15 and 21. And if I add that up, how much is that? 36, which is less than 37. Uh, well, you can't even make a triangle like that because the the triangle sum theorem says that this right here needs to be greater than 37. So it's not even going to work. It's not even going to make a line. It's not going to work at all. Here we have, uh, making a conjecture, the angles of an actual triangle-shaped traffic sign have measured 60 degrees. The angles in a scale drawing in the sign have measured 60 Okay, so scale drawing. So I see, uh, explain how you can use this information to decide whether the three given angle measures can be used to form a unique triangle or more than one triangle. Well, I can make more than one triangle. I can see this right here. Here's the triangle. This is 60 degrees right here. It's kind of hard to see because it's red. 
as is this is 60 degrees. So this angle and this angle are the same. This is 60 and this is 60. That's 60 and that's 60. So it's the same. They have all the same angles, but I can make more than one size. They, they would have, they would each have 60 degrees, but here's a smaller version of the larger one. And then I can go even larger. I can make another one over here. I could follow this along like this. And those would be 62. That would be 60, 60, and 60. And so I can't make a unique triangle with all three angles being 60 degrees. I can make more. So th this, so it says here, more than one triangle. The sine and scale drawing are two different sizes with the same angle measures. To the hot questions, those higher order thinking questions. So we have a... Uh, we're going to communicate this. Uh, the figure on the left shows the line segment two inches long forming a 45 degree angle with a dashed line whose length is not given. Okay, so we have our two inches here and we have 45 degrees here and this unknown length here. Uh, the figure on the right shows a compass set at a width of one and one half inches. Okay, so one and a half inches. So that's this length right here is one and one half. And as it gets sweeping across, it's one and one half all the way through, which makes sense why it would go right here, because that's two and a half, or just two. Well, it's not really John's scale, is it? Because <laughs> one and a half probably be like more like here. Anyway, anyway, uh, we can see that it hits it two times. It hits that dashed line two times. And so explain how you can use this figure to decide whether two sides of an angle not included between them can be used to form a unique triangle, more than one triangle, or no triangle. Well, I'm saying here, uh, this is what I have to say. You can make more than one triangle. The arc will intersect the dashed line twice. Okay, so it does. It intersects it here and here. And each time that it does, it makes a triangle. So if I may, if it intersects right here, you would have one two, three sides of a triangle. Okay, it's hard to see. Huh? So it'd make a one, two, three sides of the triangle if it intersected right there. Uh, but it could intersect at the other place. It'd be a real skinny triangle, but you would go right here. You can have one side, two sides, three sides. So you can make two different triangles from these two different intersections. So it will uh, uh, creating two possible triangles. The triangles are different, but they both have uh, the same two inch, 45 degrees and one and a half inch measurements. So uh, that it still has the 45 degrees right here. It still has the two inches there and it still has the one and a half inches there. So there you go. That's what that one's about. And then finally, our critical thinking, number 10. Two sides of an isosceles triangle have the same lengths, six inches and five inches, respectively, which means you go that one, then that one. Find the length of the third side. Explain your reasoning. Well, we could have this. It could be like this, where this is six. And uh, if this is isosceles, then uh, we could have six, six, and 15. That is one possibility. So we would have this triangle. Now, I'm wondering, now, would this be okay? Uh, well, 6 plus 6 is 12, which is less than 15. Um, no, I don't think so. Uh, that's not going to work. The, two short, the sum of the two shorter sides is not longer than the longest side. So that's not going to work. If I, so contrast to 15. 15 and 6. Well, now we can do 15 plus 6, which is what, 21, and that is greater than the third side, 15. So that one checks out. So there you go. The third side must be 15 because 6 plus 15 is greater than 15 using that triangle sum theorem. And there you go. That's what you got to know about all the homework. Thanks for watching.